Hey there Tesla fans, Aaron Rath here from Rats Tesla. And for some of you who may not know, I got a second Tesla. So today's video is going to address something that I think is going to become an issue for more and more families in the United States. And that's how do you charge two Teslas or two electric vehicles in your garage? This setup and this application could apply to, to all electric vehicles but two of them in your garage one of them's easy i had a nema 1450 plug installed in my garage when i bought slowpoke the red tesla model y that you see behind me but uh, we just added tessa the midnight silver metallic tesla model y and we have to figure out how to charge two of them at the same time so that both my wife and I have charged when we need them. So let's get to the way I did my setup in today's video. As I said, I've added a second Tesla. You can see right there, Tessa, sitting in the background to go along with Slowpoke. So how do I charge two Teslas? Now let's take a quick look here at uh, how I used to charge, and then we'll get in to my current charging situation. So as you can see, I had a NEMA 1450 plug installed in my garage. It's right back here. And I just ran the mobile charger off of that and have my little charger here. And my car would sit about, about right here. So like two feet from the charging spot. But my second Tesla is all the way over here. As you can see the tire marks and we need to get our charging to right there. Well, there's a lot of ways I could do it. I could lay the cable on the ground and run it over, but I really don't want to do that. So here's what I did. I have taken a, a, a braided wire cable. This one's covered in plastic. And I've put two eye bolts in my garage, one on each side. And then I did the little pinch clamps and I pinch clamped this in here as tight as I could get it between the two sides. And I'm gonna have a link to all the parts that I used in this installation down below. Everything I got, I bought on Amazon, okay? So then, now that I have the, the mechanism to get the cable over there, I had to figure this out. So you can see my cable bunched up right here, but I took my cable and I put it on these little, on these D-rings here, oop, wrong way, on these little D-rings here, and I have it so it can slide out and across, and then my charging cable hangs right here. I took one and zip tied it open, and then it can just hook right here, and the, car, the charging cable can actually stay in this spot for, um, for the forever. I can drive my Tesla underneath this. So Slowpoke Park's right here. I can drive it underneath this, have plenty of room. I can open up the trunk, plenty of room. And then Tessa slides right in here. And again, I have plenty of room to get underneath that. Now, here's the real question. And I'm gonna walk over here and grab the box real quick. All right, so here's the main piece and the biggest thing that had to be added to my charging situation. And that is a splitter. So I did not want to install a second NEMA 1450, specifically because I would have to run copper from, from just on the other side of this wall, right here, which is where my box is. That would have to run up and over and come down on this side somewhere to have the plug. But I would still have the issue of the cable then needing to run from here over to the middle. So that's why I devised this situation to go over the top. But in order to be able to just use one NEMA 1450 plug, I needed a smart splitter. 
Now there's two on the market. One is made by Electron and I, it's much cheaper than this one from NeoCharge, but I wouldn't order it. And that is because their shipping department is horrible. I ordered it and after five weeks, they told me they couldn't get it from one warehouse to the other and it would be another one to three weeks. So I told them to cancel it. So I ended up going with this one from NeoCharge and you can get this on Amazon. And this is a smart splitter. Let's pull out the card here. And the cool thing about this one is it comes with an app. And this app allows you to see how much charge you're putting into each of your vehicles. And you can use this if you want your, your charger to be for appliances and a vehicle. So let's say you have a washing machine plug in your garage and you're running your washing machine off of it, you can use this to split that. And the reason this is a smart splitter, so this takes the, the 50 amp plug that I have, and you could do two things. You could set both cars to only charge at 20 amp, max them out at 20 amp, and that would allow both charges, both vehicles to charge at the same time. This would then know that there's only 40 amp coming through it and it can send charge to both vehicles. Or what you can do in which I have done is whatever vehicle you have plugged in on this left side is your primary vehicle. Whatever vehicle you have plugged in on the secondary side is your secondary vehicle on the right side. That's your secondary vehicle. So what happens is I pull the cars in the garage, I plug both of them in, and it will charge the primary vehicle, which happens to be Slowpoke that sits here because I drive it more. It will charge the primary vehicle until it reaches the percentage that you have designated in your car and it shuts off. Once it shuts off, the smart splitter, the smart switch, automatically switches power to the secondary plug and then charges that car to full. So it does not overload the circuit. It does not start one without the other one being stopped unless you lower their charging amps to 20 a piece. So this right here, along with the setup of two mobile chargers, so I have one mobile charger for my car and I have a second mobile charger for my wife's car and they both hang off of this and then we plug them both in, mine, comes off of this rack and it's just, you know, two feet away. And then up and over with these D-rings. And then we have the plug right here. So this will come off of here and come down and plug right into my wife's car. And I'll demonstrate all of that here in a second. But each one of these D-rings just slides right over this. And then I have the cable zip tied to that each one of those, and you could put more on here. But again, like I said, this, just hook it on this last one if you wanna put it away, and then it just slides over and it stays right there. So if I need my garage cleared so I can do stuff, wash my cars, whatever, I can just slide that out of the way. If I don't need it out of the way, I just slide it open and hook, take this hook off of here and hook it on here. My wife's only five feet tall. This is low enough that she can grab it and easily hook it and it works out perfect. So now let's get a demonstration with the cars back in the garage on how this works. So now both cars are parked in the garage. Let's talk about the plugging in. So as you can see, it's not that far from slow poke to the charging plug. So it's literally just pulling it off of the plug opening the charge port and plugging it in. Now this car will immediately start to charge. I don't have delayed charging on because I don't have peak charging hours. Mine's nine cents all the time or eight cents all the time, excuse me. So you can see my car started to charge. Now if we back up and we grab Tesla's plug and we pull it off the hook, you can see there's plenty of room to pull it over the charge port and plug it in. Now when it'll go through its process, it'll say starting to charge, but then it will immediately stop the charge. So this is odd, it's never stayed on this long, so the so now it just did. So Slowpoke is charging at 32 amps, which is what I have it set at. And if we look over here inside a Tessa, you can see 
that it has now stopped charging. And I'm going to close the door back up because you can see it better. But you can see that it has now stopped charging. And it's sitting at 54%. Well, while I come over here and I look at Slowpoke, it's charging. So now these cars will go and Slowpoke will charge until it reaches 80%. It'll shut off its charging and then Tesla will kick in and charge until it reaches 80%. So this setup now allows it so that I can plug both cars in before I go to bed tonight and both of them will be charged in the morning and I don't have to worry about coming out and moving the plug from one car to the other. So there it is. That's my charging setup. You can see I have both cars plugged in and charging at the moment. It is charging Slowpoke first, and then it will charge Tessa second. And this setup cost me, well, the Neo charge was about $340, but for the peace of mind that it gives you and for the ease of use that it gives you, it's, it's that much better paying $340. And it has an app so you can switch the charging you can see how much each car is charging all of those things it's a very cool app so the neo charge was the most expensive piece the rest of this i think i have like 40 dollars into it again i'm going to put links in the description for everything that i used for this setup for you to be able to purchase it off of amazon like i said it i purchased it all off of amazon it showed up in two days and it took me about I don't know, it took me maybe an hour to get everything to go. And the hardest part was stretching that cable. I had to get help and needed someone to uh, help me stretch it. And if you can see in the back, you can tell that there's still extra cable hanging up there. And that's, I left that there for a reason. Some people might say, why didn't you cut that extra off? I left it there for a reason. So if I ever have to restretch it, there's something to grab onto. But that'll do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure that you get on down below and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, the bell, the comments, do it all. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out and the channel out and it helps us make more videos. And we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up here for both Tessa and Slowpoke. But that'll do it for today's video. As always, get out, go drive, be safe, have fun, and we will catch you in the next video.